today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a, definitely a more slow down, detailed explanation. I'll do it over and over on how to do the glitch that I do for my heists. Now, if you've seen my videos, the fastest, easiest way to do this heist, I complete this heist in under seven minutes with all secondary loot solo. If you want to see how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of the video so you can check that out after you've watched this one. But one of the most common questions I get from that video is how do you do it? How do you get into it? Even though I do explain it into the video, I kind of do it fast, obviously, because I'm trying to do it the fastest, easiest way and I don't really take my time. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to do it. I'm going to show you how you can practice it over and over and over again without getting caught. And that's basically it. So I just got done recording a video where I show you how I do all my heist prep. So if you want to check that video out, it was the video just before this one on the channel. Um, but I've just done all the setups right now. I just recorded that. We have the bearer bonds, but it doesn't matter because that's not what we're doing. We're literally just going to be showing you in this video how to do the glitch. All right, so in order to be able to do it the exact same way as I'm going to be doing, the glitch you can do any, it doesn't matter which approach you get to this. But if you're going to want to set this up and test it out and practice like I'm doing right now, uh, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using the Kasatka. We're going to be using the drainage tunnel as the infiltration, the drainage tunnel as the entry point, and then escape point. Would just It doesn't matter because that's not what this video is about. Time of day, we'll do daytime so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, that's it. So you, if you're going to want to practice this, just make sure you have the same setup just so you can get in here, kill the same people I kill, just so you can practice this wall glitch over and over and over again until you can get it. And once you've got it, it's super easy. If you watch my videos, you know I just literally run on over there and do it. Um, like, it's just super simple. But it does take a little bit of practice. So let's speed up here until we get to the compound. All right, we're at the compound. So let's go ahead and cut through this. Like I say, you need the cutting torch to cut through this. If you don't have it, this won't work. Make sure you have the cutting torch. All right, so here we are. And this part, it's going to be similar to my, my setup videos or my heist videos showing you how to do it. Uh, so just make sure you do it the same speed I do, because if you do it slow, I've had people in the comments tell me that when they tried running past this location, the jug was there. The only reason the jug would be there is if you're doing this slower than I'm doing it. So just do it the same speed. We're just going to head over there, and then I'm just going to show you how to do the glitch over and over and over again. So once you get through here... Just go ahead, pull out your shotgun. We actually don't need to kill this guy up here because we're not doing the actual heist. I'm just showing you how to do the glitch. So and, oh, you can actually glitch into all of these buildings too. If you want to see me do a video on those, I'm more than happy to. The only problem is I don't really use them because they're they're just they're kind of pointless. So what we'll do is we'll take out him and we'll take out the camera. Okay? And then just because otherwise he's going to be walking around and he's just going to be annoying you. And then take out this guy because he's going to be walking around annoying you. This guy's going to be walking around annoying you. And the guy upstairs here, if you don't kill him, he's going to be right here in the spot that you need to do this glitch. So we're going to take out this guy too. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we need to kill the jug. You can see he's about to walk past down there. And this is where somebody said when I ran past the jug was there. That's because you must have been doing it much slower than me. Because you can see I've just done a lot of stuff and he's still only just walking past. So what we need to do now is we need to kill the jug because the jug is going to be annoying. Now we can either do the wall glitch and then go in this building and kill him when he walks past or we can do what I'm going to do right now because I'm not showing you how to do the wall glitch yet so there's no point in me doing it before I can teach you how to do it if that makes any sense. So we're just going to wait here for a second. So what's going to happen is on the mini map right here you can see this jug is going to walk up here and then I think he walks down into here and then he comes up the stairs here and then walks down past here. And we're just going to wait until he starts walking down past here. Because as soon as he does, there's no bodies here. But he's going to walk up these stairs. So as soon as he walks past us, we're just going to shoot him in the back. And again, you need to make sure you have the same gun I have here. The shotgun. If you don't have the shotgun, you won't be able to kill the jug. Um, but yeah, the shotgun, the aggressor shotgun is I think the one I have. The assault shotgun, sorry. You can kill him if you shoot him in the back for three or four times. But you'll see. It's really simple. We're just going to wait for him to walk past here. He's very slow, isn't he? And he shouldn't see any dead bodies because the bodies we've all killed are out of his sight. So as soon as he gets up here... Alright, he's walked past us. So now we're just going to shoot him in the back. So that was three shots. Okay, but now that he's dead, you can see this entire area... This is the room that we're going to be glitching into right here. So we'll put our gun away. I said put our gun away. 
This is the room we're going to be glitching into. There's no guards going to be around this location anymore. So you can practice this over and over and over again. So what you're going to want to do to do this wall glitch is you're just going to go back up where we were. Now, keep in mind, if you want to implement this glitch into an actual run, the fastest, easiest way, like I say, check out the videos I do on the fastest, easiest way to do this. So you can actually implement this into the actual run. You don't need to do what I just did. But just watch that video. But anyway, this is... <laughs> sorry, I'm, getting, I'm confusing myself here. We're just doing the glitch. So anyway, you're going to want to go into first person, right? We're in first person here. And people are thinking this has been glitched. This has not been glitched. I'm recording this on Saturday and I'm posting this on Sunday. Um, it has not been glitched. So the 14th of January. There has been a few updates in the KO Prigo heist that I'm going to be doing a video on on Friday. But anyway, glitch. That's what you're here for. So first person and you're just going to jump over this wall. Just like that. Simple as that, right? We've jumped over the wall. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to jump up onto this wall right here. Onto this bush. So jump up onto the bush. Now you're on this little bush, right? Once you're on the bush, just walk until you get to here. Make sure you're like as close to the wall and this thing as possible. Now, this is where some people get confusing. I am on PC, but I'm using a controller just because I prefer using a controller when I'm on PC. Um... So if you're on controller, you should be able to do this. And if you're on PC, just plug in a controller. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to jump up onto this. But as soon as you jump, you're going to look to the right and you're going to move to the right. So both of your analog sticks, essentially, if you're on controller, are going to be going to the right. So you'll see right here, I'm going to jump and then turn them both to the right. And then once, like, once you jump up onto it and you can see like this... You push forward, obviously, to walk into here. And then once you're in here, this... Obviously, we're not doing a heist right now, but the loot is awful. But if you walk over to something, you can see it says start looting. As soon as you hit start looting, you'll get your, your vision back, essentially, right? So let's hit B. So now let's say you didn't get in here, right? Well, let's just walk back out the door. But if you didn't get in here, all you need to do is practice it and do it again. Now, for example, if I try doing it again... I shouldn't be able to do it because we didn't jump down. So if I try and do this now, you see how I just jump up? And if you're having that issue, if you're like, I'm doing it and I'm jumping up onto here. And when I walk over to it, I do what you say and it's just making me jump. It won't let me turn. If that's the case, you're going to have to just run back upstairs again and then do the same thing again. So I'll do it again here for you so you can see. And sometimes it might not work. Sometimes you may turn and you can kind of see it and it kind of like you don't quite get it. If that does happen, we'll see if it happens now, actually. Let's just see if it does it. So let's jump on over. Like I said, no guards are going to come up here. So you can practice this for as long as you want or until you die. Because obviously you can see my health going down there. <laughs> just bring some snacks. Uh, but yeah, jump up onto the wall. And then walk down here. So now we're just going to, again, we're going to jump up onto here. And then when we jump, we're going to turn and like go into here at the same time. But as soon as you can see that this is where you're going, press forward. Because obviously, if you turn into this and you still press both analog sticks to the left, once you get up here, you're going to actually turn and fall off. So you're going to want to make sure you turn both of them in. But as soon as you can see it, you push forward. So let's try it. You jump up, turn them both in, and then forward at that point. When it starts glitching like that, you just push forward. So let me try it again. I want to see if I can do it where it fails, just so you can see you can continue doing it. So we'll jump, turn, and then forward at this point. So you can see now i've done it three times we'll do it one more time and see if it does it the only reason i'm being able to do this over and over again is because i haven't come out of first person mode if i come out or if it doesn't work you're gonna have to go upstairs fall down and do it again let's try it again so you jump turn see that time didn't do it and i and i actually haven't come out of first person mode but it looks like it's not doing it right so let's try it again make sure no so now it's not doing it for me so if it, if it does that and you're like it's not working it's fine. Just run upstairs right here. Back to first person mode. Jump over this wall. Break your neck. <laughs> and then you're just going to go and do it again. So jump up on here. And then here we go again. So we're going to jump, turn, and then go forward. So what I was saying, though, if you do this, I'll try and do it now, where you don't actually get in. It's fine. So if I jump and turn... 
That oh, didn't work. I'm going to have to go up there. But basically what I'm saying is if I was to do this, actually, I will do it again just to show you because we'll grab that loot and I'll show you basically at this point, you can do the heist super easy, by the way, super easy. So one of those guards we kill 100% of the time, they will drop the loot or drop the key. You can see on the mini map there, one of the guys has dropped the key. So typically, I would say the loot in here is much better. The last video I did, we had gold. Sometimes you can get paintings, but all right. Okay, so just like that. See, it didn't work. Let's try it again, and then we're in. So this one had pretty stinky loot, but most of the time, like I say, last one I had gold. Sometimes you can get paintings in here and things like that. But once you've got to this point, I was about to end the video and be like, there you go, I showed you how to do it. But if you've got to this point and you're like, okay, now I want to finish it. How do I finish it? I'll show you. So if all you were here for is that glitch, then you're good to go now, hopefully. But if you're like, nah, you know what? Let's just finish this off. We got all the secondary loot. Hopefully you have better loot than I did. Uh, we'll grab the key from this guy for you. It might be that guy or it could be one of the other guys that we just killed. Once you've grabbed that key, you jump down here. But since I wasn't doing the heist, I didn't get the secondary loot. So I'll, oh, sorry, the cash from the safe. So what we're going to do is if you've got this and you've tried it a few times, you finally grabbed it. You're just going to come up here. Grab the, the safe loot from in here. This can be anywhere from 30 to 100,000. So just grab your little safe loot. There we go. And then what we're going to do at this point, this is where I would usually jump down here and do that glitch. But since we've already got the loot, I'm just going to show you guys how to just finish this up. Hopefully, like I say, you have a full bag. I mean, obviously it's all luck, but hopefully you have a full bag. So once you've got that key from any one of these guys, you're going to just open up this door here. There's going to be no one down here. Go in here. Here's the problem, though. Because we have killed them, like I say, I'm going to have a video coming up probably on Friday showing you the updated way to do this, the fastest way. Because they have done, like, a, a sneaky little update to this heist that they didn't tell anyone about. So I'm probably guessing 100% that once we grab this secondary loot right now, we're going to trigger the alarm. Um, it never used to happen, but they've done it some update. Hold on, I'm going to have to concentrate here because my, my I have an awful memory and I've got the bloody loot that I'm going to have to type in a code for. So let me... <laughs> every time I go say that loud. 62, 79, 30. 62, 79, 30. So 62. Go on, faster than that. 62, 79, 30, 62, 79, 30, 62. Okay, let's go back this way. 79, 30, 79, and then 30. All right, so we've got the loot there. Now, see if there's going to be a cone. Is a cone going to pop up right in front of me? No, hey, there's no bloody cone. So I, I know, I think I know what the issue is. And I'm going to make a video on it this week for you guys on Friday explaining it. But for now, once you've got over here, let that guy... Oop, he turns around. I forget he turns around so fast. So by now, you should hopefully have a full loot bag because you had better luck than I did. But once you trigger this, you're basically good to go. This is the super simple, easiest way to do this heist, but... This is just like a little extra for you guys. You know what I mean? I was going to just do the glitch, but I figured if you guys have been following along and then you finally got the money and you're like, okay, now what do I do? I may as well put this part on the end just so you can actually finish it once you've got the money. You know what I mean? <laughs> so now we're just going to grab our gun again. We're just going to shoot this guy. Boop. Steal his little motorcycle. And then that's it. We're just going to get out of here. So... Hopefully this helped. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions on this. Like I say, there is other buildings you can glitch into. The only reason I don't do it is because they are a little bit more difficult. Um, and some of them don't work on console. And it's like, what's the point in doing a video if, you know, if some people are on console, you know what I mean? They're going to be like, oh, it didn't work for me. So we're just going to swim on over. I think it's just to this one right here. If you do have guards that have been triggered, you need to swim on over to a different location. But if you have triggered the guards, then uh, just what you'll do is you'll go down here. I don't know why that didn't trigger it for me. That should have ended the mission, but <laughs> it's fine. If it doesn't, just swim down into this little ravine, and there it is. It's finished. So anyway, guys, 
hopefully that helped you. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to show you the other glitches. But like I say, the other ones, they are very difficult to, uh, to master. You also, you know, you have to kill certain guards and it just makes it a little bit more difficult. That's why I only do this glitch. Um, but let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Yesterday's video was a spin the wheel. So go check that out if you haven't already. It's a great video series I have where we spin the wheel and whatever it lands on is how we do the heist. So it tells us what weapon to use, what vehicle to use, um, what entry point, exit point, all of that good stuff. Um, so go check out that series. And then tomorrow's video is going to be my setup video. So if you want to see the setup video, that'll be tomorrow. So showing you all the videos on how I do my setup. So anyway, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Thanks for all the love. Please hit like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye.